This workflow video describes how to use Visicon to extract IFC rebar quantities. We're going to start out by opening an IFC file and exploring some of Visicon's viewer capabilities. We're then going to use expressions to identify different types of rebar in filters and rules. And then we're going to conclude by running several customized quantity reports. To start the workflow, we're going to double click on an IFC model. Once the model opens in Visicon, we can explore it. We see it's a multi-story concrete structure. We can open up the elements by right-clicking on one of the faces, adding a clip plane, and zooming in a little bit. And this shows us the uh, rebar section at one of the footings and, and columns. The color coding defaulted to the component type. We can switch it to the material uh, color coding that came from Tecla. We can also add another clip plane here to see what this section looks like. So this gives us a general idea of the reinforcement placement in the concrete members. Our objective is to use the expressions and filters and reports to be able to extract quant. To do that, we'll go ahead and open a model that I've already pre-configured with uh, some rules to save time. We're gonna open the same exact model that I would pre-configured. We see it's the same exact model. What we're going to do is we're going to go to visibility, and since we're going to focus on just the reinforcement, we will turn everything off and only turn on the rebar. So this gives us a clear view of the individual uh, reinforcement. At this point, we can select one of these rebar objects, looking at the rebar properties. Again, we see all the basic parameters that are generic to Visicon, and under those are the properties, and under parameters, we can see that we have all the detailed reinforcement properties. Let's go and look at filters to begin with. So what I've done is I've created a couple filters. So for example, this one, using the general component categories, just defines something that says all rebar. So this is just selecting all of the reinforcement. And you can see this model happened to have a thousand objects. I can also write an expression that says Tecla reinforcement B equals 1,425 millimeters. So when I select this filter with this expression, you can see there are 22 objects selected. And what I'm doing specifically, do you see on the left side here, this B parameter? It is now identifying all rebar objects that have that specific B parameter set to 1,425. I can take it a step further and filter and say, well, give me all the rebar that has shape zero and is over two meters long. So here my expression is Tecla reinforcement shape equals zero, zero, and Tecla reinforcement length is greater than 2,000 millimeters. Or I can refine the search even further. Here I'm looking at shape zero. The length is over two meters, and it's shape 25. If we want to see what does it mean by shape 25, let's create a new filter. We're just going to copy this shape variable. We're going to create a new filter. We're going to call this shape 25, and our expression simply paste that variable equals 25, and that has now selected all of those bars. And we can see that these are straight bars. See, these are all the straight individual bars that only have the parameter A and X. So this gives you a quick oversight of how you can use expressions to write filters. Now we're going to move to rules. From previous videos, you might have seen that rules are used to set colorization of different components. So the simple one is we just grabbed the shape variable and said colorize, uniquely colorize all of the rebar based on shape. So here I can now see that it has signed a unique color to each shape. So I can see those that are pink, yellow, black, and green, each are a different shape. Or I can say simply take those that are shape 51. If the shape is 51, turn them this light green. And if it fails, make the visibility hidden. So you can see I've now applied this rule. It very quickly takes my model, isolates all rebar that are of shape 51. I can go even further and say I can see that shape 51 is some type of a stirrup. I'm interested in knowing which shape 51. So if I select this, there's the parameter A. I can say now identify those that are of shape 51 and have an A equals to 350 mm. So here our expression is now refined again to say Tecla reinforcement shape equals 51 and Tecla reinforcement A equals 350. So this is how you can define filters and rules 
using all of the rebar parameters that you would get from a Tekla IFC file. Next, we're going to move to reports. So in the reports, I've set up two types of reports. The first is just simply a rebar quantity report organized by shape and size. So our objective here, and let me just expand the options, the filter we're going to apply is to all rebar because we don't want this quantity report to include our concrete members. And you saw how I defined that filter. Then we're going to group by the, by the shape and by the rebar B. So what we're trying to do in this quantity report is we're saying we want to run a quantity report where let's say the manufacturer or the, the rebar supplier wants to know how many bars by different shapes and categorized, subcategorized by one of the key shape parameters, in this case B. And for each one of those bars, we want to show the mark, total weight, and length. So we're just going to simply run that, go to reports, We've selected this report and we're going to run the report. So what you can see now, this is our Excel spreadsheet. These are all the different shape types. So here we have all of the different shapes. If we just open up one of these shapes, for example, shape 41, we see there are 11 total and this is my total length. So I can now just add all these up and this is my total weight and this is how many there are. So this allows me to very quickly come in and do very detailed quantity reporting based on categories that I've set up for the different rebar types. So here, for example, under shape 21, we can clearly see that there are those that have a B of 425 millimeters, those that have a B of 1425. Among 1425, I have 22 pieces. I would just need to add up all of the different lengths, and that would give me the total length or add up all of the weights, that would give me the total weight. This is how you can use this particular report to do very detailed quantity takeoff. The next report we're going to look at is to extract more detailed information on the rebar. This time we're just going to do a data export report. So that's this right here, this import data template. The previous one we ran was the inventory report. So this report says what's the filter. So this time we're going to be more specific. We're going to apply the filter that says we want those that are shape zero over two meters of size T25. For each of those bars, we wanted to export the name, the shape, size, length, total weight. I simply run the report and you can see exactly here you go. This is the name of the bar. This is the shape, which we know we set to zero. We can confirm that each one is a T25. This is the length. This is the weight of those units. And I would just need to come down to the bottom and sum this up for my total quantities of length and weight. To show you how easy it is to add new parameters, so let's, these are those bars we're talking about. Let's say we also want to have the X parameter. So I can right click, copy variable, add that right here, rerun the report. So now I also have this X parameter as well. So to conclude, what Visicon allows you to do is open any IFC model, in particular those from Tecla Structure, using the expressions and rules and filters you can very easily extract the details and categorize all of the information for the components that are in there, and then use our various report types to be able to run very detailed quantity and inventory reports. Thanks for listening.